firm and weakling. No? But actually, yung ginagamit as in this massage ngayon, hindi yun ang serious massage ni Enric Perling na so for, for the record lang, hindi yun ang talagang serious massage. It had been become a serious massage na ganun termino dahil sa uh, colloquial na lang sa mga tao. So naging common term na lang. Diba? Pero there's no, kung taka ng Sweden, walang serious massage sila. Okay, hindi issue this message ang in offer nila. So, the third kinesiology, so, coming from the word movement science. Okay, so it was founded by medical gymnastics, the original is physical therapy and physical therapy. So, galing sa dalawa. Physical therapy and physical therapy. Ano ang pinagkain ng dalawa? Actually, they are more likely to see to sa physical therapy and physio, no? Pero dahil more on sports and physio therapy, physical therapy, or on gamit sa mga gadgets, associated with other medical applications. So, meron sila. Pero titignan mo, kung nakikita mo yung practice, nagkakaroon ng pagkakaiba on mindset, on how they handle things. Parang sabihin natin ang doktor at saka ang nurse. Ang nurse nag-diagnose. Di ba yung diagnosis procedure ng nurse at saka diagnosis ng doktor? At ang specialist na iba yung diagnosis niya. Isa may lab na. Halimbawa, si, si nurse, titignan niya may dagdag siya. Ay may ano siyang change in body temperature. Si doktor, titignan niya meron siyang infection. Diba? Pero iba, nagkaiba. Or kung minsan sabihin natin, nagkakaroon siya ng swelling, may iba naman, sasabihin nila, there might be suspected na ibang case ng diabetes, cases of the problem niya. Okay? So, masayin nyo na lang yan. So, it is a movement brings together the freedom of anatomy and physiology. So, nagamit nyo niya both sides of anatomy, movement, may galaw. Okay, so it utilizes the principle of mechanics, musculoskeletal anatomy, and neuromuscular physiology. Meron din tayo tayong tinatawag ng biomechanics. Meron dito sa Pampanga, katawa ni engineer, engineer yun ah, ni engineer uh, Salonga, na what he does is biomechanics. Siya naman engineer. Diba? Kasi ang tao, structural yan. So, the concept is merong structure. So, ang engineer magaling sa mga structural balance, di ba? Strength, reinforcement, di ba? So, ang, ang ginawa niya is merong mga movements or mechanical movements na ginagawa. Kung nag-a-attend kayo ng mga seminar people noon, uh, siguro na siyempon niya siya. Pero dahil hindi din nag-a-attend, sisipag kayo. Mga nang yun, time na yun, wala mga bayad yun eh. Saan pa yung puta siya? Kapag magkakaroon kami ng healing galing, yun yung mga healing session, yung healing remedies, yung mga treatment na ino-offer namin. Kapag meron kami mga gano'n, libre yun. Tapos, meron kami minsan yun i-invite ng mga tao na they do other practices in, 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 in time. Minsan, hindi ko ina-announce yun. Kasi minsan, by surprise, tumarating sila. Minsan naman, nabalik sila. Minsan, hindi naman din sila tumarating. So, by chance, si Natita Melissa, si Dante Gloria, nakakasama nila minsan kapag nandiyan. Diba? Pero somehow, nakatulong din yung, yung sa tuhod. Yung tuhod. Sa low back pain, yung sa tuhod, yung sa set in the knee. Malaking, malaking tulong din yun. Uh, yung biomechanics. Yung technique niya dun sa bone, ala, yung bone setting sa tuhod, maganda siya sa mga cases ng low back pain din. At sa mga cases na ano. Yun nga lang sa kanila, parang gaya na sinabi ko, nireset mo, kaso yung muscle hindi nakareset, babalik agad. Diba? Kaya nga dinugtungan ko yun, hindi in-apply pa, na-apply pa natin sa atin, kailangan meron talaga muscular manipulation. 
<laughs> para hindi nakaaral na. So, so, kinetics and then there's kinematics. Kita tayo po. Okay. I'll just send you the copy of this in a PDF file. Saan na ba ba tayo? Yung niyang pakay ng pamya o hindi sayang na of the human positioning. So, hindi yan nagpapago. Alam niyo na yan. Okay? So, sana alam mo pa rin ito. Kung sagital, from the plane, and para sa mga plane. Kung paano yan nangyayari? Nagagamit yan sa paggamit ng PT, uh, sa pagkaterapi natin. Okay? Nagagamit mo yan on the back aspect, in the medial aspect, kung paano yan ito gamit yan. Nagagamit yan. Lalo na sa mga points natin kahapon, di ba, lalagay natin sa sa balakang, tapos gagalaw yun siya. So, ang gagamitin mo, yung concept mo, using the anatomical plates. So, okay? So, meron siyang axis. Diba? May gamit siya. Pag-iliran, harapan, at sa gitan. So, alam niyo naman yan. Sana alam niyo na. Tatatandaan niyo pa, anterior, posterior, superior, pinamedia, lada ng proximal gland, lada ng sanasa, etc. Si oh. Attach po. Pasend po sa'yo na kayo kaya. Okay, movement, flexion, extension, abduction, internal, ano, optimal, subduction. Alam mo na rin yan, matanda na kayo niya, di ba? Ha? Nalala niyo pa ba yan? Na ala la la. Ha? Flexion. Extension. Oh. Abduction. Adduction. Internal rotation. External rotation. Oh. Circumduction. Oh. Ano na? Ano na? Ah. Plantar flexion. Oh. Dorsiflexion. Oh. Dorsiflexion. Plantar flexion. Inversion. Inversion. Sa pa. Oh. Position, depression, position, position, oh. contraction, contraction. Ah, ah, oh, sabar pa rin nila rin eh. Yan, deltoid, hindi nyo yung mga muscles. Yan, di ba? This is biceps. Ah, nagisi mo yung tapos.
O yung parang nagbubulin siya. Next. Ampular motions. O yung binatuha. Neumatics. So, axis. Kipat lang natin ang kote. Bypass na lang tayo ba? So, dapat si Pini mag-discuss ito rin. Okay, balikan natin. We have one is called the agonist, antagonist, and synergist. So, yung flexion na muscle, ito yan. Siya si agonist. Siya yung nagpagalaw. Sino ang synergist? Sino yung sumabay? Si na pangalang muscle doon? Si brachio brachialis. O. Nung umiya siya yung sumabay. Kung baga, ating vida, yung kontra vida, ating meta, Uh, as, 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 yung binaya kontra binaya supporting actor mga mga Dennis Padilla mga yun yun lang pagpapagulong so ating actor ating actor ating supporting actor and then ating kontra binaya diba so kung titignan mo siya eto kaya minsan titignan mo Kapag ginalaw natin siya dito, kapag minasage natin dito, di ba minsan may karoon siya ng problem, na shoulder problem dito. Yan, yan. Itong side na to. So, makita mo, minsan ginagalaw natin siya dito, ginagalaw natin, di ba? Kasi yun yung nagtatay, di ba? So, sa synergies, di ba? Synergies dito, mag synergize siya doon sa function siya dito para tulungan siya. Pero, kailangan na-check mo rin si Daga. Yan ang daga natin, di ba? Yan ang ating uh, biceps. Okay? So, si biceps, when you work on the biceps, and then, di ba? Kapag palakasin mo rin yung buong brass mo. So, the whole bunch of muscle in your upper arm, pati muscle actually, pati dito-dito. Kasi kaya pag nag-press ka, dapat na ayos. Kaso, minsan, o madalas, madang tuturo, ang focus mo lang kamay lang ang gagamitin mo. Ano yun, di ba? Ito lang palalakasin mo yung mga tao. O, paano lalakas yan kung hindi mo palalakasin yun yung braso? And you have to do some exercises to develop your arms. Otherwise, kung hindi mo dinevelop yung mga braso mo, ito yung mga cases na meron. Kapag tanin, tendonitis, kung sa shoulder, problem sa titid, nagkakaroon ng chest pain, nagkakaroon din ng pukul sa kinigili. Kasi pag nagpapress sila ng ganyan, isa lalo na yung extreme force mo tapos meron kang lateral metal press up yun yan eh. Ang tawag mo? Simples. Simples. Once or ever. Simples yung parang. Diba? Oo. Tapos nagkakaroon na i-equip yan. Kaya minsan nagkakaroon ng problem. Kaya nga mas maganda kung yung mga therapist na sports para na lang kayo di ba so eh paano yan sir sa pag sports para walang 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 voice walang voice walang voice pero naman yung sports para na merong bra ay merong padding di ba meron di ba uh, may sports para naman may padding alam mo kung magalit ako na lang uh, may sports para na may padding siyan din Lagyan mo ng padding dito, may may padding naman, para this to keep you. At least, kapag sa sports mo na kasi, medyo maluwag siya, di ba? Hindi siya gano'ng masigil. Although, merong garterize naman dito, di ba? Pero malayo dun sa mga kapa siya. So, mas advisable, naka-sports pra ka, pag gagawin mo siya. Hindi ka gano'ng grab. Ito kasi yung mga bagay na hindi na ituturo in the process na, na training yung safety precautions tapos ito rin ang isang cases na na-find out natin na kapag nag-mimens ka tapos mas nag-exert ka ng more effort sa massage may, may, may mga consequences din yata kasi kapag nag-mimens ka tapos nag-exert ka ng maraming effort so yung, yung uterus mo lumumulog yes yes Ah. 
So, kailangan, meron kayong uh, abdominal exercise na ginagawa para sa ano. Okay? Kailangan i-no-workout yun. The process is ano. But I mean, kailangan yun. Ingatan lang. So, next is agonist. Sabi nga, prime mover, prime mover siya yung tumagalaw. Ang tamo niya siya yung nag-o-oppose. Diba? Pag tignan mo, siya yung kumokontra. Diba? So, ganun din sa pa. Si hamstring, tsaka si quadricep muscles. Diba? Si hamstring, pag ginalaw mo siya, si quadricep, ginalaw mo, alamat si... Diba? Si hamstring, ginalaw si quadricep. Next is, types of muscle contraction. Nilalayo yan, dapat sa exam nyo dati Para sama yan Si isometric contractions Nangyayari ito Kapag ang muscle ay nagpuproduce Ng force na hindi Binababa yung length diba? Hindi siya nagpababa yung length Hindi siya mahaba, hindi siya Stay pa rin siya okay? So, pag yan ako siya Inawag mo lang siya Ito, nakahawag natin yan No movement ka At least, at hindi siya nagshort yan hindi rin siya umo. Ngayon, pag kinalaw mo siya, kinalaw mo siya, nagkakaroon ng isochronic contractions na yung muscle, nag-change siya ng position niya. Diba? Humili siya. Pwede mo namang yung concentric at pwede siya mag-concentric. Ang um, concentric is uh, touch muscle contraction. Isa naman, to lengthen. Mahaba siya on a separate length of contraction. Mas mahaba siya. Diba? Now, gaya niya, tinas mo, so pag dito, pag-move mo, center contraction na siya, pag binita, binitawan mo, kumaba siya, di ba? Pero gaya naman siya, pero at first, gaya ginawakan mo lang siya, wala siyang effect. Pero pag binamilog mo na siya, and then binalik mo siya na doon, meron na siyang center contractions. Kaya tinitignan natin, di ba doon sa movement natin ng trigger points, yung mga ginagawa natin kapag pin-rest mo yun so yung muscle kapag dumiin siya merong pressure ng kokontra what happened to the muscle diba? kapag ang parang garter yan yung ilaw mo inaptalize mo diba? pag pin-rest mo ganun yung garter yung, yung motion ng stretch mo malilipit diba? kaysa doon sa mahaba kasi na-stop mo siya diba? so ganun din yung cases ng muscle natin When we press yung aking points, so yung movement natin doon na i-stretch siya. Kung siya ay tight na tight, pwedeng mag-oversledge at allowing oxygen to come in. Kasi kung nagbubukul-bukul na yan, no, toted siya, panginilaw mo siya. Diba? Ang muscle kasi may karakteristik na elastic. Diba? Kamukha na nga, no, pag inelastic mo ganyan, luluwag siya. Diba? Parang yung uh, short natin. Kapag ang short, ginagawa mo, inaris mo. Kung pupul-pupul siya, mag-i-even, di ba? Yung short natin. Or underwear, undies natin, pag ina mo. When you move. So, the same thing with the, ma with the muscle structure. Yun nga lang, kailangan mong malaman kung alin ang muscle ang gumagalaw as you go on on the treatment. Kailangan pabisado mo siya. Ito ang muscle na gagalaw dito. Like for example, magkahapon, what we did is, magawa tayo ng ng sa shoulder pain. So, kailangan ng muscle mo, alam mo, anong i-press mo. Diba? So, another pressing, hindi naman din lahat ng cases na si sub, uh, sub mandibula, uh, sub scapularis yung i-press natin. Kung si Neh, yung i-press natin sa sub scapularis, hindi naman depende kasi depende yun sa condition. Kaya nga, minsan sinasabi na hindi naman siya effective. <coughs> Kaya minsan effective siya doon, minsan hindi siya effective kasi you never know, iba pala ang conditions niya. Kaya minsan, hindi mo siya masasabing magaling ako dito, magaling ako doon, magaling ako sa pressure shoulder, gano'n. Those people who do that, they are more of those things. Diba? Kasi ang kulay na magaling, na-accept niya na meron pa rin siyang limitation. Diba? Na-accept niya meron pa rin siyang kailangan ng improve. Kasi, doon siya lalo magaling. Ang feeling na magaling, lalo tinitignan niya sa akin niya, magaling na magaling. Ibig sabihin, hindi na siya nag-aaral. Pero the more that you find a person willing to learn and learning new things, new things, mas marami siyang magalaman. Balik na lang yan. Okay? Next.
Get it. So we have no. So anything that holds those out the weight down becomes no. Diba? O. Kung mabilis siya ng velocity niya, when you move down, velocity niya ang pag-usapan dito yung combinations kasi medyo mas matuto yan. So pag... Ha? Lalo dudugo yung utak nyo, lalo tutulugan nyo lang ako. Diba? 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 Bakit pa may hapit lang sila ang pampasok? You can do about individual treatment At yun ay yung last resort mo para take the risk Pero again, you have to face consequences If the person dies O may nangyari, nag-trip siya, nakatulog siya Hindi na siya nag-isip Nag-subconscious mind siya, nag-heartbeat siya Pero yung utak niya hindi o wala. Hindi pa tayo ka pa paano ang lilis niya. Tapos, isip, isip, isip. Buhay pa po siya. Huwag na makuhita ka siya. Humihinga pa po. Humihinga lang siya. Pero wala. Diba? Tapos, iyak, iyak ka na dyan. Kailangan kasi meron mga segment. Kahit ako dun sa practice ko, meron mga cases na isang tinerapy ko yung client tapos hindi niya magalaw yung talaga yung paa niya. Kasi hindi po makarap. Hindi po makarap. O, relax lang. At relax lang ako yan. Pero sa sunod doon, relax ka rin dyan, bro. Relax ka rin dyan, bro. Diba? Why? Kasi, kung magpapanig ka, lalo pa mo mawawalan ng diskarte. Diba? You have to learn that lesson. Ah, and yes, paano mo bang yung professionally, alam ko. Kaya kung nagpapanig ka rin. Diba? Patay kang bata ka. Diba? Lalo na kung nagpapractice ka, wala kang connections at least. Wala kang alam. Wala kang call up friend. Diba? Kung may call up friend ka, sasabihin mo, o di may ang kiyo rin. Ano ba gawin mo dito? Hindi, ayaw nila. Try mo ito. Ano nga sasalbis mo? Hindi mo nga gano'n. O kaya, relax mo na kayo. Okay nga mo na kayo. Sige, nagyan natin na kayo. At compress, nagyan natin na ganito. May i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-
Tama mali. Tama. Di ba? Maka makakasalo, pakakala ng kumaro, nandito tayo. Di ba? Pag sa treatment, sige, bahalan. Bahalan ni Batman. Ha? Ha? Hindi na bahala na kay Batman. So, di ba? Lord, hindi ka na bahala. Ako, di ba? Ganun mga term. Di ba? So, cases like that, somehow, kailangan natin siyang nakakatulong tayo. Di ba? Mga, mga cases na ma-offer ay ang tao, kahit sabihin natin na hindi man sila maroon ng gagsin. Kailangan pa po sila, ah, hindi naman dapat na yun. Di ba? Mga cases na uh, masasyesyal na ma-offer ng mga spine. Di ba? Ganon. Sige, na mo. Para pa yung naghahanda na siya ng kalahating million to one million ng gastos. O. Kaya po din na-recommend. Di ba? Naayos mo siya. Sipin ko ito, second level power, yun ba? So, kaya natata kayo po ang parte yung core system. Saan ba nang dadali yung core system? Kaya nga, kung titignan mo, example of this, kaya rin, kaya kung hindi siya sa ito na lang siya. Alam mo sa katawan niya, very lean yung mga muscle niya. At nagkano siya, mama ng mga sports niyo. Diba? Dati ka nga, kagaya nung doktor na ginawa ko doon sa bagyo. So, sabi niya, anong sports mo ma? Sabi ko. Alam, alam mo talaga na atlet, atlet ako. Uh, sabi niya. Hindi uh, may sakit na ako ganito. Pero dati, anong, wala akong sports, sabi niya. Pero dati nung dalaga ka may sports ka, sabi ko, anong sports mo? Diba? Hindi ako naniwala na, kasi that time, wala na nga siya ang sports kasi may nararamdaman na siya. Mama, ano ba ang sports mo? Kasi mali naman yung tanong ko, diba? Diba? Ako na, wala akong sports na, sabi niya. O ibig sabihin, may dati ka sports na. Ano ang sports mo dati? So, bakit tinatanong yan? Para alam mo kung ano yung common prevalent or possible affected area on the body that contribute to the condition that they have right now. So, kung bowler ka, for example, yan. Ano magiging problem dyan? Upper arm. Wala kang Diba? So, ito, may pinahawa ko sa paan ni Daddy Lord. Diba? So, sports massage, ginagamit din yung technique yan, using concurrent force. Diba? Kapon, hindi lang natin discuss kung ano yan ang gagawin natin. Yung ginagawa nila, iba yung linear force, yung iba naman parallel force. Diba? Now, kung titignan mo, balikan natin ito. When you do the technique na ginagawa ko, Diba? Parallel siya, may pinaparallel ng force, diba? I combine. When there is a parallel force that causes pressure, it helps the muscle to stabilize its condition. Kung linear force naman yan, ganyan, 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 diba? Yan. By compression. By spreading the tension. Ito naman, concurrent, dalawa kayo. Hinihina yung isa, at yung isa on the opposite side, towards a certain goal. Concurrent ka. Di ba ka ako ninawa ka ni 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 sa si Chris. So ninawa ka ni Chris yung lalim ng paa tapos habang iniila ko siya. Di ba? Ang pakiramdam niya yung paa mo yung 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 sacral bones mo nag-spread siya between the sacral tapos sumasakap it yung mga lumbar one ah lumbar five and four mo pag iniila mo siya. May concurrent force. Di ba? na kailangan mo uh, maintindihan. Yun nga lang dapat alalay lang. Diba? Nagdaw pa positive na karanan na tensile, tensile force lang siya, tensile effect or weight bearing effect ang gagawin natin. Now, so ano ang result force niya? So, meron siyang result or gaya itong bangkang ito, hinihilan niya doon, hinihilan niya, saan siya pupunta? Doon sa side na to. Kuha? So, on one direction to another direction, pag hihila mo siya, parang ito, ilahin mo yung ano dito at dito. So, anong tendency mangyari? Papaks niyo yung mukha mo doon, makapunta sa kabila. Diba? It's a concurrent force. Kaya nga, ginagamit din ito ng mga engineer. Ginagamit yung mga concurrent force. To do that, kaya nga, minsan nakita niyo sa mga, sa mga mall, diba? Meron naka-sling na gano'n, diba? Na i-hack. Yung mga bakal na kakumparin, tapos yung, yung sa mga hanging previous, diba? Meron makagaling yung wala, break, gano'n nga. 
because they do compare for sin. Reinforcement nila. So the same thing we talk, paano natin pinakompare? Minsan meron namang force naman, dalawa ang gumagawa. Yung isa naman, ikaw reverse. Ikaw yung nagpo-force, active force and passive force. So pinukulang ko siya, ikaw na lang ang gagawa ko. So, may prayer sa God, ikaw ang active force naman. Ikaw nagre-resist na. Oh. So with that, ginagawa mo siya, ikaw so, mismo ina-align mo yung spine mo. Okay? Next. Force couple. Diba? Kapag ginagalaw mo siya, so may couple. Force A and B. Diba? Dapat mo yung ulang yun. Tornicate. Tornicate yung nakatali siya. Dapat siya force. Diba? Ano mo na yan? Then calculations. Yan. Tignan mo yung spine niya. Kahapon, si Daddy Lord nakikita nyo, yung spine niya similar to this. Kailangan maintindihan nyo, ma-interpret nyo kung bakit pa paano mo ginawa yung yung case na yun. Kapag hindi mo siya naiintindihan, hindi mo siya matuduplicate ulit. Diba? Kahapon, ganyan siya. Bigyan yung back niya. Diba? Nung kumiga siya. Diba? Yes, sir. Tinitang mo, ganun siya. Nasa yung gravity center niya dito. Pero, ang mas nararamdaman niya doon sa thoracic. Kasi nandun yung bearing point niya. Yan. So, pero titignan mo, meron din siyang back pain. Pero hindi niya ganong na, naiinglad niya. Pero ang very force niya, yan ito, yung gravity center of gravity ng tao. Kapag aralan ninyo, okay? Yung paano sila gumalaw, kung paano siya maglakad, kung paano siya mag-boom, it has an effect over the slide. Kaya para kapag sila, masakit pa rin. Binawal na kayo, binawal na kita ma'am na magka mag-heels. Pero nag-heels ka pa rin. The same thing with my clients and other clients, pinagpapawa na ma'am, hindi na kayo pwede mag-heels, sabi ko. Pwede kayo mag-wedge, wedge kaya, wedge kaya. So, in the process of communicating with the client, so nagiging mas clinical yung approach mo. You know what to do, you know what's the cause, you know how you prevent the case ng isang client, kaya niyan. So, isang masakit yun dito ko kasi ganyan ko siya maglakad. Diba? Hindi diretso pa siya o hindi. Then, ganyan ko, nagdadala ng anak. So, saan ang center of gravity? Ayan, sa likod, diba? O, pwede lang break siya. Okay, nagdadala siya. Isa na ka nagdadala siya. Pwede break na rin ako. So, yung position ko. Kaya nga sabi ko na sabay yung hammer dito. Okay? So. So, meron siyang calculation yan. So, depende yan sa calculation yan. Kung babae o lalaki, depende yan sa weight. Okay? I am not inclined at this point dito sa mga ano yan. Si Carmela ang ano. So. Values of intervention of the gain balance for the gain. The center of gravity has then to do the physical therapy for that. The enhanced patient gain. Gain is walking. Kapag siya maglahat. Medication of walking and pushing up. Kaso, di ba sa meron tayo niya tawag ng OOT. Kaya minsan, pag-aralan nyo yun, yung mga ibang mga aspeto ng pang-OOT, pwede din na ma-perform sa client nyo. At the same time, you can get a maximum output. Diba? So, meron tayong din ang tawag dito Anong oras na? O, hindi naman kayo kung tawag yun ba? Gate control theory Pain stimulates the nerve fibers A, beta, and C They're responsible for taking the pain nerve stimulation to the brain The A, beta fibers are responsible for pain that is acute and immediate And the C fibers are responsible for the pain that incapacitates The electrical stimulation of tennis comes in different settings according to the frequency. It acts directly on the nerve fibers A and beta, interrupting the transmission of pain stimulus, causing the closing of the gate control theory, releasing other organs, and local paradesis, stopping or decreasing the pain at the site. One of the causes of the pain 
pain. Kapag ang pain, mas madali kong i-heal. Pero ang pain, matagal na siya. Mas mahirap siya i-heal. No? Ibig sabihin, kapag ang pain, halimbawa, na-sprain ka, short period of time, pwede mo siyang i-heal. Pero kung may cancer of the bone ka, hindi mo di yan. Diba? Hindi yan bigla-bigla kung masakit ka na siya. Meron siyang uh, longer period. The longer you feel the pain, the longer it takes you to heal. Kasi matagal mo na siyang hinihinda. Doon ba ba? Meron kang sakit sa uh, sa likod. Habang tumatagal siya, lalo sa tumanala. O kung sakaling minsan, yung pain mo, wala siya sa muscle, hindi naman siya na sa loob. Sa internal organ natin, lalo na kapag internal organ ang problem, paunti-unti. Hindi mo siya mararamdaman ng biglaan. Unlike a muscular pain na kapag ikaw ay nasugat, ramdam mo kagad. Kung ikaw ay nabumbong, kita mo kagad. Diba? Pero sa pagsinig, si kidney, ang namaga, si muscle ay si kidney at saka si heart. Ang may problema, may parado. Hindi mo ganun na ikita. So it takes a while before the problem will get worse until it will manifest a longer period. And sometimes it will be your end of life. Diba? Kasi hindi tayo gano'ng gano'ng ka-aware. Diba? Tingnan natin ni cartilage. Bago natin i-work out yung ego mga exercises natin. And the cushion in between your joints. It's also what the skeleton of animals like sharks and rays are made out of. If you're an athlete, understanding the basics of cartilage will help you prolong your career. Here's what you need to know. First, cartilage is a connective tissue like muscles and bones. But they're also very different. If you break a bone or tear a muscle, then you know it right away because it's full of nerves. Cartilage, though, doesn't have nerves, so you won't know you damaged your cartilage unless it affects the underlying bone. Also, those bones and muscles will heal. Cartilage? Not so well. But to get why, we first need to distinguish between a few different types of cartilage. There's elastic cartilage, which is very flexible and found in places like your ear. Then there's hyaline cartilage that is super smooth and tough. It has minimal flexibility, but its glassy smooth surfaces keep our joints sliding smoothly. Then there's fiber cartilage. This cartilage is tough and flexible, but not particularly smooth. It's found in places like your menisci and in intervertebral discs. Many people have this idea that cartilage doesn't ever heal or grow back. In truth, it can, but very, very slowly. Like other tissues, cartilage is made up of cells. These are known as chondrocytes. Now, when other tissues get damaged, they are able to essentially migrate to the wound and divide and multiply rapidly. Chondrocytes can't do that easily for two reasons. First, they're found in a thick matrix, so it's hard for them to migrate to new areas. Secondly, there are no arteries or veins in the cartilage, meaning there's no blood supply to help feed and nourish the multiplying cells. The limited supply they get through diffusion just isn't enough for the rapid growth that is needed. Let's take this example. So say you suffered a joint injury, like fractured ligaments, menisci, etc. This destabilizes the joint, which in turn affects the cartilage in the long term by wear and tear. This process can take a year or a decade after injury, but it's not reversible. The early changes in cartilage are hard to feel since there are no nerves. But after losing most of the cartilage, the two highly innervated bones are exposed and begin to rub against each other. Yeah, and that really hurts. At this point, the doctor can only medicate the pain since most of the cartilage is gone. If detected early, sometimes doctors will try to encourage cartilage to grow back in the area by putting a bunch of holes in the underlying bone that penetrate the bone marrow. We call this microfracture. This essentially provides a blood supply and allows some stem cells in the bone marrow to migrate oh, to the injured area and to grow some cartilage. The problem is that it's not that nice, smooth, highly cartilage that we want. It's essentially scar tissue like fibro cartilage. It does not protect the bone, but it's not as smooth as we all like. Okay. In the long term, by wear and tear. This process can take a year or a decade after injury, but it's not reversible. The early changes in cartilage are hard to feel since there are no nerves. But after losing most of the cartilage, the two highly innervated bones are exposed and begin to rub against each other. Yeah, that really hurts. At this point, the doctor can only medicate the pain since most of the cartilage is gone. If detected early, sometimes doctors will try to encourage cartilage to grow back in the area by putting a bunch of holes in the underlying bone cartilage repair basics. And I highly recommend this playlist about the sports science videos from our collaboration with Ortho Carolina here, where we're trying to educate everybody 
I love the basics of their body. The idea that I'm not going to be able to run again simply because the cartilage in my knee is messed up is frustrating. If you're like me and your knee's messed up, you want. Bigger points. Symptoms of myofascial pain syndrome include regional persistent pain, commonly associated with limited range of motion of the affected muscle. The pain is most frequently found in the head, neck, shoulders, extremities, and lower back. Trigger points are developed as a result of muscle injury. This can be acute trauma caused by sport injury, accidents, or chronic muscle overuse, brought by repetitive occupational activities, emotional stress, or poor posture. A trigger point is composed of many contraction knots where individual muscle fibers contract and cannot relax. These fibers make the muscles shorter and constitute a taut band, a group of tense muscle fibers extending from the trigger point to muscle attachments. The sustained contraction of muscle sarcomeres compresses local blood supply, resulting in energy shortage of the area. This metabolic crisis activates pain receptors, generating a regional pain pattern that follows a specific nerve passage. The pain patterns are therefore consistent and are well documented for various muscles. Treatment of myofascial pain syndrome aims to release trigger points and return the affected muscle to original length and strength. Common treatment options include manual therapy such as massage involves application of certain amounts of pressure to release trigger points. The outcome of manual therapy strongly depends on the skill level of the therapist. The spray and stretch technique makes use of a vapor coolant to quickly decrease skin temperature while passively stretching the target muscle. A sudden drop in skin temperature provides a pain relief effect, allowing the muscle to fully stretch, and thus releasing the trigger points. Trigger point injections with saline, local anesthetics, or steroids are well accepted as effective treatments for myofascial trigger points. Dry needling, insertion of a needle without injecting a solution, is reported to be as effective as injections. Sarcomyces 
and compose stimulated and unable to release their contracted state. This amount of contracted software shows the strength of the fiber, as we can show it and write it across the case. But also a different segment now becomes stretched by this tension, shown by the greater distance between the sarcomeres. Together, multiple of these sarcomere knots form the trigger point. The stretched segments of the fibers get tightened to the top band from which the trigger point mounts. When sarcomeres are stuck in contraction, blood flow stops in the immediate area. The resulting oxygen starvation and accumulation of waste products irritate the trigger point. The trigger point responds by sending up pain signals. In return, the brain is stimulated by stopping to the muscle, which further shortens and tightens up the muscle. Trigger points will not release without proper treatment. The most effective way to treat a trigger point is applying to restore the massage directly to the trigger point. This can be done without the help of others. Deep stroking massage means performing a series of deep strokes across the trigger point module. In this example, the rubber bounce ball is placed between the body and the wall to reach the trigger point in the lower trapezius on the back side of the body. You can see the ball moving slowly and deeply as short strokes from one side of the trigger point to the other. The series typically consists of about 8 to 12 strokes that are performed about 5 to 10 times a day. By using deep stroke massage, the ball and the trigger point so to speak. Blood and lymph fluids move out to contain the waste generated by the contracted muscle fibers. Each time you move over the trigger point and release the pressure, fresh blood immediately flows in, bringing fresh oxygen and nutrients. It may take several weeks to return the muscle fibers to the normal state until you release the trigger point. Trigger point trees have existed for a long time and take a lot of treatment, but often results can be achieved in days, bringing less pain and more pain. You can find references to more in depth information about trigger points and their treatment in the video description below. Small muscle contraction, which can be felt as a small module. Machine knows module is very painful. Trigger points can exist in each muscle of the body. Multiple can exist at the same time. Often both types of the body are affected equally. The trigger point keeps the muscle tight and loose. Restricting the muscle's major motion. The trigger point can actively cause pain, or it can cause no pain or undistance. Most of this pain is sent to a different area of the body. This is called referred pain. Referred pain can make finding and treating trigger points difficult. Luckily, referred pain follows typical patterns that have been well documented. Let's take a closer look at the trigger point. The trigger point lies in the taut band. The taut band is a tight strand of muscle that fits at the core, easily mistaken for a tendon. The trigger point itself can be felt at the fingertips and its location is sufficient. Besides, varies from a pinhead to a peak. When we continue to zoom in, we can see the muscle fibers that make up the muscle. Boy, pain and tightness, okay? What is that? Okay. It's a chronic right tampon back here, so. I don't need that down in the top. From the perspective, it's called. I don't know. Well, if you're looking at the back, we have the right scapula right here, right shoulder, left shoulder, and we have this little muscle right between the scapula and the spine. This is called the rhomboid. Okay? There's another muscle that connects to the top of this scapula, and it goes right to the neck, the lower neck. And that's called the limit, one of the major scapula muscles because it elevates the scapula. So these two muscles are involved in a lot of chronic pain and tightness. I mean, how many people that you know would have these knots right in that side? And they go to the chiropractor, they go to the physical therapist, they go to the doctor, they get a massage, and it never gets any better. So I'm here to tell you that the pain or trigger points in this area are not a problem with this area. This is a referred problem which means it's coming from some other place. Okay, where? The book. Yeah, it's a referred liver. The gallbladder or liver refers pain to a nerve called the phrenic nerve that comes right up, up underneath this area right here and right to this one spot, okay? So, just to do a simple test, um, what you want to do is you want to take your hands and press underneath the right rib cage about two inches down, straight in. So you press
I sat there, okay, and you hold that. You might want to feel around to just find where the gallbladder is and just gently put pressure there for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, okay? And then reevaluate and see how your neck and back feel. The pain should either decrease significantly or completely go away. And if it doesn't, then we know there is a problem right there. So I just want you to do this test right now and let me know down below if your pain goes away. I would say 95% of the time it will completely go away if not improve significantly, okay? Personally, I had a problem with this for about 12 years. It haunted me. I went to the best chiropractors. I had the best massage therapist working on this. And it would, I would get the treatment. It would last like for about an hour. It would keep coming back. Little did I know, it was the gallbladder, okay? All right, what are we going to do about it? Okay, so number one, you need to change your diet. Okay, there are certain foods that are aggravating the gallbladder and the liver. That's going to give you the most relief. It's going to give you significant relief. I put a link down below of exactly what you should be eating if you have a sluggish gallbladder. I'm not saying you have all stones, but I'm saying if this relieves it, there might be some congestion in the gallbladder, it could be a liver issue as well. So put some of these below, check it out, and give me your feedback. Hey guys, definitely subscribe and I will keep you in the know. Skeletal muscles have a specialized function to help us maintain our posture and move. Skeletal muscles are comprised of bundles of muscle fibers. These multinucleated cells contain myofibrils with specialized proteins acting on myosin for muscle contraction. Other proteins, including desmin and titan, support the structure of the cell. Myosin has protrusions which are in contact with the active filaments. During contraction, these pull along the filaments, inducing a short wing of muscle fiber length that initiates movement. Muscle cell proteins are continually being broken down and rebuilt to maintain muscle mass and strength. During training, and particularly in resistance exercise with eccentric contractions, the fiber lengthens as it develops tension. This can result in micro tears where acting and myosin cross bridges are pulled apart. Micro tears can result in protein breakdown and release of amino acids. Muscle cell disruption may also induce inflammation in the muscle cells. Proteins and their building blocks, amino acids, play an important role in the repair and strengthening process in response to exercise. Ingested protein is an important source of amino acids. Along with amino acids released from within the body, they promote repair and build muscle mass and strength. Amino acids enter muscle cells and activate the mTOR complex and synthesis of new protein chains. Factors such as insulin released during exercise increases the uptake of amino acids. The new proteins include the myofilament proteins and actin and myosin, as well as the structural proteins, which together help to rebuild and strengthen muscle. Other cells, called satellite cells, proliferate and fuse with muscle fibers as they increase in width, so that they're stronger and better equipped to deal with such exercise in the future. Yes. 
that destroy the cancer cell membrane and cleaves DNA into many pieces in a programmed cell death that is lethal to society. After releasing its lethal package of chemicals, the natural killer cell can detach from the cancer cell and kill many other circulating abnormal cells. Yet the research has shown that most of the tumor cells that enter the circulation are destroyed during the first 24 hours, and only a few cells succeed in establishing themselves in distant organs from the primary tumor, which is called metastasis. Natural killer cells may also contribute to immune regulation by secreting high levels of influential lymphokines. Therefore, research to develop natural products to stimulate the natural killer cell activity, especially in immune suppressed patients undergoing chemotherapy for cancer or in any viral disease, such as AIDS or bird flu, where immune suppression occurs, is very important in the regulation of aspects of the immune system, which affects our overall health. Finally, we come back to the beginning of our knowledge of an actual killer cell. Here lies an actual killer cell in a bone of sheep red blood cells. These cells are perfect targets for the natural killer cell, possessing no MHC1 receptor. The wrap of natural killer cell is fully vented on the surrounding sheep red blood cells. These lipotoxins completely destroy the sheep red blood cells, leaving clear plaques around the natural killer cell. There is no apoptosis event, just direct cytotoxicity. The natural killer cell is one of the key soldiers in the fight against viral and cancer
The three major plasma-derived mediators are present in the plasma in precursor forms that must be activated, usually by a series of proteolytic enzymes. The kinins increase capillary permeability and stimulate pain receptors. The clotting system traps exudates, microorganisms, and foreign bodies. The complement cascade causes vasodilation, promotes leukocyte chemotaxis, and augments phagocytosis. Acute inflammation comprises a variety of complex protective responses to injury that together lay the groundwork for the next stages of the body's recovery immune response and tissue repair. Immune response to infection. Bacteria entering the body through a cut may cause an infection. Upon recognition of the bacterial invasion, lymphocytes release pyrogens that signal the brain to raise body temperature. An elevated body temperature creates an unfavorable environment for microbial growth. A fever also enhances the normal immune response. stages of healing, which are inflammation, repair, and remodeling. Inflammation is the body's emergency response and begins immediately after... Okay. Three stages, ibig sabihin ba, hindi niya pwedeng pangunahin yung gagawa talaga yan, no? At baka sabihin ng client is, ano? Ayun, sila na hindi niya yan sa inyo. An injury to fight the most dangerous effects. This causes swelling, redness, and pain for three to five days. No time of the day or night is pain-free. If rest or changing position reduces your pain, then the injury has moved to the repair stage. On a cellular level, inflammation attracts specialized cells called fibroblasts, which spin webs of connective tissue to bind the wound together, similar to the scab on a scratch wound. This limits the flow of fluids, protects the injury, and begins repair. Food supplements can be used to help this process by supplying the body with the nutrients it needs to heal and keep the inflammation at a healthy level. These include omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids found in vegetable oils like flaxseed and fish oils, and antioxidant nutrients such as vitamin C, E, selenium, and bioflavonoids. The standard treatment for acute injury is rest, ice, compression, and elevation, also known by the acronym RICE. Rest prevents further irritation and injury. Ice and compression reduces swelling, and elevating the injury above the level of the heart allows the swelling to drain. RICE is generally done for three to five days after an injury, but it can be used whenever the inflammation flares up. Gently moving the affected area can be helpful if it doesn't increase the pain or create more injuries. For example, patients coming out of knee surgery often have their legs strapped to a machine that is moving their leg in circles as if they were riding a bicycle. Anti-inflammatory medication can be taken if the pain becomes too much to sleep at night or if it carries on for too long, but these should be taken with care because they interrupt the natural healing process and they have side effects like stomach ulcers, liver and kidney damage. Most importantly, if you are unsure about your injury, it is important that you see a doctor as soon as possible. Please subscribe if you liked this video. Human brain. Part of the survival value of pain is its association with learning centers in the brain. The brain circuitry associated with nociceptive and neuropathic pain involves areas considered to be essential in emotional learning, memory, and reward. The insula and anterior cingulate, together with the thalamus and basal ganglia, are most consistently activated in acute pain. The brain stem and the descending pain modulatory system also play a role. Where activity is observed in both the anticipation and perception of pain. Clinical chronic pain causes increased activation of prefrontal cortical regions, 
which implies that chronic pain distorts the cognitive and emotional perception and processing of everyday experiences. Hypervigilance and an impaired ability to extinguish aversive associations of fearful or painful events seems to involve interaction among medial prefrontal cortex, basal ganglion, and amygdala, which is consistent with clinical data indicating that chronic pain patients usually suffer from elevated anxiety, depression, and decreased quality of life. These observations demonstrate that the brain in healthy subjects is distinct from those with chronic pain, indicating that chronic pain is at least partly a neurodegenerative disease. By noxious stimuli, inflammation, or noxious empathy proceed through five phases transmission, conduction, transmission, perception, and modulation. Nociceptive pain originates in the nociceptors, which are highly specialized primary sensory neurons found primarily in the skin or joints or the walls of organs. These receptors convert noxious stimuli into electrical current through a process called transduction. The current is then conducted along the nociceptor axons to their cell lines, located in the dorsal root ganglion and the spinal cord and then to their central terminals located in the dorsal form. Here, the electrical impulses initiate neurotransmitter release from nociceptor central terminals, which relay the signal across synapses to the dorsal form neurons. Greater stimulus intensities are associated with the release of neuropeptides, including substance P, from central terminals of C fibers. Substance P, acting via neurokinin receptors located in the dorsal form neurons, generates a greater postsynaptic response and enhances the activity of NMDA receptors. The signal is then relayed via ascending nociceptive pathways to higher centers in the brain, where it is perceived as pain. Ascending nociceptive transmissions are modulated by inhibitory or facilitatory control systems in the dorsal form of the spinal cord. The process of inhibition and facilitation is regulated by neurons projecting from the nucleus radio in the brain cell. Nociceptive are transmitted through descending projections in the dorsal form of the spinal cord. Facilitation serves to provide warning of tissue injury and encourages protective behaviors such as fight or flight responses, while inhibition may serve to provide analgesia at times of danger so the pain does not follow the dysfunction. Ayo atinya sir. Bantu setas. Atinya, atinya. Try ya, atinya baik. Atinya, atinya connection. Atinya, atinya. Oi, try ni itu, oh, para malam. Ya nunya siapa fresh malam? Nang aus kencing. Nang aus 
Pero lumambot na. Wala nito lang, wala nito lang. Buntis wag. Ayun na. 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 kailangan ng insurance yan sa ang micro fund na hindi na pangatil ng fundings by mas mga ang ability kasi lalo na kinkis ang iwa ng ang iwa yung kapit na ang iwa so sinag sinag bulutan ako ano may ito sa papakita ko yun may kailan po sa papa sa lapit Okay. Oh. Best. Ano oh. 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 so, sa ha? Oo, sa 
Pakikinig natin. Pakikinig natin. Piso electric dyan, di ba? Yung parang kuryente, di ba? Yung piso, piso electric nya. Oh, yung lumakas, di ba? Oh. Doon sa, sa skull dapat may maradaman ka. Dyan, dyan, sa mga doon sa skull. Press mo pa dyan din mo. Sige. Yung sabay bungo nya, yan. Sige. Press. Oh. Ay, Hindi, isa lang. Pwede naman. Kasi sinasabi ko lang para marandaman ng mukha niya. Ah. Ah, kasi masakit pa yung braso niya. Saan? Sa pagkasahin. Oh. Oh. Dato rin yung life has been okay. <laughs> hmm. Tingnan mo, meron siyang mga notes nito. Ayan o. Oh. Meron ka pa ba sa Ay, kaya Ay, sa boyfriend niya. So, nakakapako siya, di ba? Okay. O, oh, mag-practice ka sa mga payal. Oh. Ay, nakapagmas ka. Kasi kung mag-practice ka. Nalabas na, nalabas na. Ayan. Isak na ba yung mga yun? Panatan mo ito. Yan, yung matigas na yan. Sige. Ay, 